Okay, today I'm going to show you how to solve this pocket cube or mini cube or whatever you want to call it. It goes by a few different names. Basically a Rubik's cube that has it 2x2x2 two by two by two instead of 3 kind of squares across. I've been messing with this thing for about 10 minutes so it's got to be good and mixed up. Anything that's actually matching is blind coincidence at this point. So let's get started. So first of all, we uh, want to find a uh, color to work with. Now you might think red or something, but it doesn't match over here, so no point in going for that. Same with the white, blue, yellow, green. So let's just see what color we can work with here easily. Or just pick one at random. Let's say green. Hey, that works. So now we just want to get the top. I'm sure there's a million different algorithms or methods of turning it to actually get it to match up all the way around, but my method is basically just random trial and error until it happens to work. I'm sure this will probably tick off a lot of people that are actually good with the Rubik's Cube, that being not me, but you know I'm not like trying to go for speed or anything, just straight out learning. So we've got uh, yeah, three of the four here, so we just got to get that one in. So, let's try going like... Where are you here? Again, I'm sure this is very frustrating for anyone that actually uses a Rubik's Cube properly. Yep, oh, now I lost a corner. Where'd you go here? Oh, okay, well, that'll work. There we go, we got the top done. So now we want to only need to do the bottom half. So first of all, we need to uh, get all the corners properly. I figured pretty much all of this out on my own, a few minor tips online, but... So let's say we take uh, blue here, both of those are lined up but the uh, red and the orange need to be swapped around. We need this corner to be like, have the uh, blue red on there. It doesn't, so we need to swap those two. So to do that, I've figured out you need to go down, left, and up again, and then rotate it so that all the green is on top and you can mess around with the bottom without uh, affecting it. So to the side one, and then basically just do the exact opposite of what you did at the beginning. And flip the bottom back around so that the blues are lined up. And now we have orange blue and uh, orange blue. And that side's obviously lined up. So what about the other two? Are they good? Nope. Oh wait. Right. Yes, yes they are. So that's all fine and good. So actually we seem to have it mostly solved. It's basically just uh, you know, two sides, but then these two pieces basically kind of need to be flipped around. I'm sure there's some way to do that in one move, but I've taken to just basically uh, doing this specific uh, movement in order to actually get it, or basically break it up. I like to break it up across that broken, or that mangly part there. So down, across, up, across again, same side down, put the green back and up so the top is still good. But the bottom is now completely different. And we rotate that so that the reds are lined up and blues and yellows and whites. And now the one thing that I have noticed to look for is this piece. Sort of like a uh, Tetris T shape. And as long as there's only one, if there's two of them, I've got to mess around with it a little bit more. I'm sure there's, again, some method of uh, actually solving it from that point in one motion. But once you have the single Tetris uh, T shape there, Go to this side of it, do that exact same motion as before, down, across, up, across, down, two more across, up, and rotate 180 degrees. Still not solved? Not a problem. We have another Tetris piece. That's the only way that I know how to do it is to work off of those. So same motion, and bingo, solved. So I found that this is really useful for people like me who've always sucked at a uh, Rubik's Cube and just wanted to try something simple to start with to kind of prove to themselves that, hey, it's actually possible. So look for it, it's ridiculously cheap and pretty fun because it's really easy to pick up. I learned it in like two days. 
And, uh, yeah, it's fun to mess around with because it's a uh, small end can be solved in like two minutes. So there you go. Have fun and try it for yourself because, yeah, I've tried playing with a regular Rubik's Cube again. That thing's, like, impossible to me. I'm sure I'll get it eventually, but a good starter for anyone wanting to learn this.